Sir Lenny Henry has received an honorary degree from Oxford University during the annual Inkenia ceremony on Wednesday. The co-founder of Comic Relief, 63, which has raised over £1 billion in the last 30 years, has worked to promote and champion diversity in British television. The comedian was beaming as he arrived at the Sheldonian Theatre in Oxford for the award ceremony. Sir Linny proudly donned a mortarboard and red gown with charcoal panelling as he walked in procession alongside the other eight recipients. He sported a grey checked suit with a navy blue tie and silver clip whilst he opted for a pair of lace-up trainers for his footwear. Honorary degrees are awarded by universities to recognize outstanding achievement in a particular field or service to the broader community. Also in receipt of an honorary degree were Professor Arawar Starzi, a surgeon and academic, philanthropist Dr. Mo Ibrahim, pioneer of new German cinema Wim Wenders, and Professor William Chester Jordan, an American medievalist at Princeton University. Dr. Jane Lubchenko, of Oregon State University, American social scientist Professor Ada Scotchpole, world leader in atmospheric science Professor Susan Solomon, and Deputy Steward of the University of Oxford and scientist Bernard Taylor, were all awarded. The Inkenia Award Ceremony takes place every year and sees the University of Oxford give honorary degrees out to distinguished people. The annual ceremony begins with the recipients joining the traditional public procession before stopping to sign their names in the honorary degrees book. They then enter the Sheldonian Theatre, where the prestigious Inkenia ceremony has been held since 1670. Professor Dame Louise Richardson, Vice-Chancellor of Oxford University, and Chair of the Committee on Honorary Degrees, said of this year's recipients, We are delighted to have this opportunity to recognize and to celebrate the myriad accomplishments of our nine distinguished honorands across a wide range of fields. Together they have enlightened us, entertained us, and improved the lives of people around the world. It comes as Sir Lenny questioned the lack of diversity in audiences at British festivals including Glastonbury, remarking that he is interested and always surprised by the apparent absence of black and Asian faces in the crowds. The actor, who shot to fame as the first black performer on the controversial black and white minstrel show, made the comments ahead of the release of his two-part documentary about Caribbean culture in Britain later this month. Discussing diversity in places where different ethnic groups do not mix, Sir Lenny, told the BBC's Clive Myrie in a Radio Times interview, It's interesting to watch Glastonbury and look at the audience and not see any black people there. I'm always surprised by the lack of black and brown faces at festivals. I think, wow, that's still very much a dominant culture thing. Born in Dudley in 1958 to Jamaican parents, Sir Lenny also addressed Myrie recently becoming the first black host of long-running BBC quiz show Mastermind. It's great to have David Olasoga on television talking about black British history that goes back to Hadrian's Wall. 
somewhere the gatekeepers have changed, because now we're allowed to have you on Mastermind. But how long did that take? The former Tizwa's presenter said. We still want more representation because we deserve it. We are British citizens, we are colonials. We've been in this country, we have grown up in this country, we've contributed and a lot of us feel it still isn't being reciprocated enough. That's also what this documentary is about. It's about that feeling of well, come on, I fit it in. Now what? I've integrated, now what happens? Sir Linney's comments came after Glastonbury's co-organizer Emily Evis said Stormzy's 2019 headline performance was a little bit late maybe, as the grime artist became the first black solo British headliner in the festival's history. Sir Linney was knighted in 2015 after being recognized for his services to drama and charity during a ceremony at Windsor Castle. Speaking at the time he paid tribute to everyone who had helped him succeed after receiving his knighthood. He said, in one of the pointy ends of it so I've been recognized as something, but the British public will all possibly get a turn at wearing this, because they're part of this too. And anybody who's given me work really, anybody who's elevated me to this position. There's a huge amount of gratitude there. I'm very thankful. In comments about improving diversity in the industry, he added, We're at the beginning of the journey, we're not at the end. There's a long way to go. Perhaps we've made progress as far as on-screen representation is concerned, but there's a lot of work to be done in the furthering of diversity behind the camera. It's happening. I believe we're pushing against the open door. It's just that people need to be encouraged to work a bit faster. He added, this was not on the cards for me. I'm a working class kid from Dudley. I was born in very lowly circumstances so for me to be here is a huge honor and completely unimaginable.